so here's the problem. I've created content in Drupal and it's got an images. It's a picture. Okay. Um, you can see from the screen, picture that I've uploaded is gigantic. Um, at least most of them are. They're all different sizes. They're all different. So, um, so I want to create a thumbnail out of them. Um, so, the first things first. Um, the modules that we're going to need or that I'm going to use here. Um, there are a couple other modules. Um, I just that'll do this, but I prefer just these ones. Uh, content uh, or CCK image uh, file field and image field because they're required. Um, scrolling down, looking at um, these, we've got image API, image API GD2 because um, that's what the server that I use uses. Image cache, auto rotate, canvas actions, custom actions, text actions, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then I've also got simple menu uh, enabled and simple menu is this little guy up here for the quick and it just it's navigation for now but you could do more with it so uh, first things first let's go ahead and create a thumbnail because if you look at my my main page that's uh, it's beautiful but it's ugly um, so let's go to our image cache and we're going to create a thumbnail that is uh, 150 by 100 pixels um, The reason I use that is because I just I think it looks like a good size. It's small enough that people can kind of see what's going on, but not entirely. Um, so first thing I like to do is I like to from the image cache uh, actions module, I like to add the auto rotate for images based that are uh, EXIF images. Um, you see it's still giant. Our little tester thing there. Um, so I'm going to add a new action of a scale. Uh, and you can do scale and crop at the same time, but I just, for sanity's sake, prefer to keep them separate. In case I need to crop to a different size or do or do something with it. Um, so I added my scale of 150, add a crop of 100. Uh, center, center. Okay. So now I've got, there's my, um, oops, uh, got to add this crop down here at the bottom. There we go. So there's my scaling crop. That big old Drupal logo went down to a smaller Drupal logo. Um, and if I go ahead and uh, uh, let's go to my content types and tell it to tell my images to use that, uh, my display to use that. Um, we'll go image, thumbnail image, link to node, um, thumbnail image, link to image. Go ahead and save that. The front page, and you'll see all those pictures have now been resized to be a thumbnail. You know, it's it's great. We now we got a thumbnail, but let's give it some depth. We want to give it something, right? Um, so over in GIMP here, uh, I'm going to close this guy out. I'm going to go ahead and create a new one um, template. And if you don't know the image size, if you create a different image size or whatever, um, I like to do this: uh, copy the image, go over to your to your just created basic size, paste it in there, image, uh, auto crop, there we go, 150 by, by 100, um, add it to a new layer, so now there's there's our, our crop, so let's put a drop shadow on it, um, if you hadn't used GIMP before it's pretty easy, um, this is what I use, you can use Photoshop, I am um, cheap, so let's change our canvas size, I'm gonna add 10 pixels on the si on each side, uh, so that's gonna go up to 170, and 10 pixels at the bottom, so that's gonna go to 110. Um, now, if you see if this guy puts it on the right and right and at the bottom, um, that's fine, because all I'm gonna do is take my image, take my picture, seven, eight, nine, 10, move them over 10 pixels. And now I've kind of got this this area around my picture where I want it to be. Um, so I'm going to go up to filters here, light and shadow, add a drop shadow. Uh, I set my offset to zero. You can you can do it however you want, but I just kind of want to give it a little behind there. Um, we'll set it a little lower, take away some blur, and uh, this is usually checked. The allow resizing, I uncheck it because I want it to leave my image the exact same way it is. So there we go. 
you're looking at my image, I'm going to create a white background so you can see that a little better. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of a shadow behind that thumbnail there. All right. So we'll take away that. Uh, take away that layer. And you see the shadow behind there. Well, when I get to Drupal, I'm going to add it as an overlay. So if this shadow, I, you know, you can put it under there, but it, but it, it's harder for the for the processing to do that. Um, from what I've read. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this tool, the select tool, and uh, on this pasted layer. Uh, oops. Image, uh, sorry, layer, layered image says, take that, select, invert, uh, over here, um, if you kind of follow along, I'm just going to delete that out of the middle. So all the middle stuff's gone, but the, but the shadow on the outside is still there. That's what I want. Um, so I'm going to file, save as, um, Now I've already got a thumbnail shadow. I'm going to do thumbnail shadow 2.png. Okay. Now you can't upload this directly into Image Cache, so you got to go over to your FTP site um, and upload it from there. Uh, so there's my thumbnail shadow 2. First one of those is a test one. So there's our thumbnail. Let's add a shadow to it. Um, go back to our Image Cache, site building Image Cache and take a look at our preset and we've got our auto rotate, we've got our scale, we've got our crop we need to add two more actions, the two actions are a uh, defined canvas so we're gonna add, we're gonna tell the, the image cache in Drupal to say hey uh, throw 10 pixels on the left 10 on the right, none on the top, and 10 on the bottom which is the exact dimensions that we went and did over in uh, GIMP and we're gonna add one more action here, and that is to add an overlay. Like I said, this is um, it can put it under, but I've, I've had better experience with uh, putting it on top. Um, and the, let just let the transparency be transparent, flow through, so it goes on top, but it looks like it's underneath. Um, and it's gonna be thumbnail shadow two. Don't wanna cheat. And, work off a previous image. Um, I don't know why it's added it on the top, but there we go. So, see when I added it on top before I resized, it's got this little thing there. So your order is very, very, very important here. So I reordered. Now let's look at, oh, there's our beautiful thumbnail right there. Um, and now if we go back to our front page, obviously nothing's there. It's not gonna work. Um, or it's not going to show up immediately. What we need to do is flush our cache. So we're going to come in here uh, to our image cache and just you know administer site building Im image cache. Um, flush. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my main site. Refresh it. There we go. There's my images with a beautiful shadow. It gives a little bit of depth to it. Um, you know, pretty easy under 10 minutes worth of worth of work, and and uh, you can create a lot of presets this way and get a lot of work done. Um, you know, shadows of left, shadows of right, different, you know, whatever you want to do, but pretty easy. So the steps are to pretty much create your thumbnail size that you want, go into Drupal and do it in Drupal, or uh, I'm sorry, go into the GIMP, get your shadow the way you want in GIMP, go back to Drupal, modify your image cache to to fit your outside borders and all that kind of stuff and you're done so uh, good luck if you got any questions comments um, send them on my main site I'm gonna put the I'm gonna post a link here post a link on YouTube and uh, like I said let me know if you got any questions thanks